I'm Ollie Beans from I Freaking Love This, and today's video, we're going to be doing a tutorial to show you how to set up advanced scene switching in OBS. There's two methods to do this. You can either use the advanced scene switcher OBS plugin, or you can use a third party app like I do called Touch Portal. Now, I can't stand it when there's too much chat before a solution in these YouTube videos, so let's get right into the tutorial. <laughs> The first method uses the Advanced Scene Switcher plugin for OBS. I'm going to have this download link below in the description, so you just click on the link and that takes you to this page here and you just click on the download button, I've already done that, and then you want to just open up your download, it will be zipped, so use something like 7-zip or whatever you use to uncompress your files, you're going to open up the folder, choose the platform you're using, I'm using Windows, and then the vast majority of you are going to be 64-bit. Right, 32-bit is only for older machines. If you have any questions about it, just search for the specs of your computer. Open it up here, and all you want to do is copy this and paste it into your program files, OBS Studio, OBS Plugins, 64-bit, or if you use 32-bit, use that folder, and then paste it right in. I've already got it right here. And that's it. That's all you have to do for install, and then you would just restart OBS. So let me bring in my OBS here. And so what you would do to set it up is you would go to tools and then you would go to advanced scene switcher. There's also an automatic scene switcher, but that's a whole different type of plugin. Well, kind of similar, but that's not what we're going to be using today. And you would go to advanced scene switcher. You would go over to sequence. And then all I did to set this one up here is I went, I selected. And so what I'm doing here is I have an ad that I made with a impersonator of Bernie Sanders endorsing and asking people to follow my Twitch. And so I have that set up as a scene here with just that video. And then so I want to do is when I go to be right back during a stream when I'm taking a break, I want that ad to play and then go back to my usual be right back screen. So I would select what I want to play first here and then once that's active, I want it to switch to my be right back screen and I'm going to enter the total length of this first video, which is the Bernie video here, which I know is 43 seconds, right? This lets you use a different transition, and I'm going to use my basic transition here. And all I would do is click this plus button, and then it'll appear here. But I've already done that. You also want to make sure you go back to general and make sure your advanced scene switcher is set to active. If it's not set to active, like right here, it isn't now, you just click start. Then you can go here. And then when I switch to Bernie, and this is going to run for 43 seconds, I'll put a timestamp below on uh, how much you have to fast forward if you don't want to work, watch my uh, Bernie impersonator ad. As the shit show that is the year 2020 continues, I am once again asking you to follow Ollie Beans on Twitch. As I think all of you know, he's not very good at video games. But he makes up for it by yelling at his chat and refusing to put ketchup on hot dogs. In this time of crisis, we need all the ketchup we can get for french fries and hamburgers. Help us protect vulnerable hot dogs from drowning in ketchup by following Ollie Beans on Twitch. Thank you. what you can see there is it automatically went to my be right back screen after that video was over and that's because I put the 43 seconds in there let's actually turn this off go back to my regular scene chair and that's how you set up the advanced scene switcher plugin for OBS to do advanced sequencing of your scenes so that way you can have multiple of them in a specific order with specific delays <laughs> The second method using Touch Portal is definitely my preferred method of doing this. Um, Touch Portal is a free computer remote control that comes with integration for OBS automatically in there. And all you would do is you would just go to touch-portal.com. I will, you know, have this link down below. Click on download. Select the program you're running on, which is going to be Windows or Mac for the host machine. I downloaded Windows, and then this just gives you an executable file that you just open up and it automatically installs it for you. 
and then you would download the Android or iOS app on either a phone or I have it set up on a tablet here. That's actually how I start and stop these records. And it's also how I control all my scenes. Then once you have both those installed, you would just open up the app. Once we have the app open, it gives you two pages by for free. We're just gonna go to the one I have already set up for OBS here, and we're gonna see one of these buttons that I've already configured. To make a new button though, you would just click on an empty space. And so what I have here, and the reason again I'm setting this up is to play that Bernie impersonator commercial I made, and then having my regular be right back screen playing afterwards. And so on button press, OBS scene selection, I switch this to Bernie, I then wait for 43 seconds because that's the length of the Bernie video, and then I switch to my be right back screen. And in here, all you would do is go to the OBS section here, Set scene, right? And that will create one of these. Do another set scene, choose be right back. And then you would go to your logic files and click on wait for timer. And that's gonna be this section here. So you just have the first scene, wait for timer, next scene again. I like using this because you have a slew of options to really customize and come up with some real creative ways to use your OBS. And Let's go see what this looks like on the actual tablet itself. And you can see here, now we have this button. When I press this button, it'll automatically play my Bernie commercial. Then it'll wait, it'll let that play for 43 seconds, and then it'll switch to my Be Right Back screen. And you can just keep building on top of this. And so this is what I use all the time. And you can see here, let's take a look at some of my other buttons. You can see I have the connect to OBS, which automatically connects the app to OBS, so that way I don't have to do it somewhere else. I have my record, stream, all my different panels set up, and then I have my Bernie to be right back screen, and then my Bernie to end screen automatically programmed in. And that's how you do advanced scene switching with the touch portal remote control. And there you have it. Two different methods to do advanced scene switching or advanced scene sequencing within OBS, one method using a plugin, the other method using Touch Portal, which is a remote control. I really do recommend Touch Portal. They do have a free version as well as a paid version. It's just nice to be able to have something within hand's reach that actually has visual cues on whether or not it's active or not, and I don't have to remember hotkeys on my keyboard. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like, You know, maybe hitting that subscribe button, maybe even that bell if you wanna be notified of when I put out new content. You can also hit me up on Twitch. I'll throw a link down below and you can give me a follow. I stream three nights a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, but that may change a little bit. Best thing to do is give me a follow and you'll be notified of when I go live. I'm Ollie Beans from I Freaking Love This. I'll see you in the next video and be good to each other.